Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Afu b'lahim in ashe tonu rasim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Today I have some questions that friends have asked me. They would like me to answer them. Some of these questions are very good and will help Muslims who are accepting Islam and converts and so on. The first one is, where did the name Allah come from? Allah is the Arabic word for God, but many people question its origin. Some people say that Muhammad stole the name from an ancient pagan god, while others say that he got the name from the same god that Abraham worships. The answer is they're both right. In the time of the Prophet Muhammad in 570 AD, there was a god that the pagans used to worship named Allah. But many people reject Islam because of this, but we have to remember that all of the ancient pagans and people in Mecca were all descendants from the Prophet Ibrahim and his son Ishmael, one of the first monotheists in the world. After travelling to Mecca, Ibrahim and his son decided to make a monotheistic religion and build a house which is now known as the Kaaba. After Ibrahim and Ishmael's death, uh, Mecca then fell on into paganism and the house then became an idol for worship. So the name did come from a, an ancient pagan god, but, it, but they took it from uh, one of the first monotheists in the world. So Allah is indeed a very holy name. The second uh, question was, what is the full name of the Prophet Muhammad? Many Muslims actually don't know this, even if they're born into a Muslim family. The full name of the Prophet Muhammad is Muhammad ibn Abdullah, because her father was na named Abdullah, an ancient Arabs used to be called after their father. Do Muslims have to learn Arabic? Which is again another very important question. I learned Arabic since the age of 13 because I found it very important to learn it and to be able to read the Holy Quran but it is not uh, an Islamic rule to learn Islam, um, Arabic so if you don't want to learn it that's fine. I find it to be better but you don't have to. Uh, why do Muslims hate pagans? Another very important question. Muslims uh, don't like pagans because they worship more than one god, which is putting uh, false deities right beside the name of Allah, which is very blasphemous uh, in the is to Islam and many Isl Muslims just don't can tolerate it. Another question is good because. Many people who, even Muslims, who were born into Muslim families don't know the answer to this question. Especially after 9-11, this has been a great concept. Can a Muslim kill a person? The Quran does not teach to kill anyone, even if they're a pagan. Allah does not give anyone the authority to kill someone, but he gives some people the permission for self-defense. You could only attack or be aggressive to another person if they are being aggressive to you. You can only use self-defense to someone else, but you cannot lash out at them first. If you have any more questions to ask me, please comment me. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.